Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Down Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite. Jonas, something I'm man on us. Yeah. And we're playing uh, the, the Monster Hunter World, changing the outfit again, Jonas. Boom. Superhero. Superhero. Oh, uh, now see, that looks like a superhero. Does it? <laughs> no, not really. It kind of looks like Cayman Rider. Cayman Rider? Yeah, are you a. Stop it, Jonas. You are not <laughs> common writer. Fine, we'll use the alternate pronunciation. Common writer is uh, Japanese uh, superheroes. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, like, the idea of like Japanese superheroes are basically like take the Power Rangers. Okay. That's a Japanese superhero. So it's always like we're here to save the day, and they're like doing the movements, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. then they're like, and then they come out, and then they get into a giant robot, or they turn giant like uh, Ultraman or something, yeah, 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 and then they fight it, and they use, and they fight the monster for 20 minutes, and then they use the same move that has killed every other monster prior to that, just use the kick or the sword or whatever that you should have did from the beginning, and then you kill the monster, and then you're like, all right, I have to go, and then you go, and then you're a nerd in real life. That's every Japanese superhero. <laughs> every single one. No deviation. I don't care. Don't well, at me. So so it's just like they fight for a while before they realize that they don't. That they should have done the one move that has killed every monster that they've ever encountered. Okay. Yes. yes. Like, just bring the freaking Moonlight Saber Sword out and use that. Like, from I the know what we'll do. We'll bring out the Moonlight Saber Sword. <laughs> yeah. But no, they always have to go through every other part of their arsenal. And it always doesn't work. Yeah. All right, Jones, we're fighting a lion head guy. Oh, he's a lion head? This is Testarossa. He's a son of a bee. A son of a bee, huh? Dude, I, dude this guy can cause some problems. Not now for you. Well, I, I took it up. We're playing, uh, this is the series where I go into lower rank matches and help out some of my lower rank compadres. I am now in high rank now because I was just running into a wall of not finding enough variation in low rank. Okay. But it's still not much of a not he hit me. So I I still don't take a lot of damage. Right. I still right. dish out a lot of damage. But it, it's it's not it's, it's, it, there's a chance I could die. <laughs> there's a chance. There's a chance that I'll my leg will fall off while I walk to the bathroom too. <laughs> But I, I would have to say, when it comes to superheroes, I think Americans do it is probably the best. Oh, I, really? I, yeah, I have to say, like, when's the last time you heard of a Swedish superhero? Yeah, because. Superhero? Exactly. I mean, we also don't live in Sweden. I mean, yeah, but the. Uh, what do you call it? The Marvel movies are worldwide. Dude. That's true. I guess American superheroes are known all over the world. Exactly. But also, a lot of American stuff is known all over the world because we're like one of like, the most powerful countries in the world. But Sweden was super powerful. Their stuff would be known everywhere, too, probably. Well, well, that is true. You would, like, in Bollywood, Jonas is bigger than Hollywood. And that's, uh, what, where is that? India. That's India, yeah. Indian, Indian Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard, I've heard that. But you don't hear about any Indian superheroes. <laughs> because it's like because even though India has like more people than just they're not like a superpower though. Uh, India, they don't really consider India like a like China, us, UK, like. I don't know, man. I feel like they bring in the money. I just oh don't yeah, know I they mean, have... they're, they're, I mean, their their country is very has a lot going on. They have like you said their own uh, Bollywood industry. They have their, I mean. But w like when you think of superpower countries, India doesn't usually come to mind for whatever reason. I don't know why. Yeah, to you, <laughs> as far as population, they do because they have they have they have about as many people as China, I think, uh, in a way smaller space. Is China bigger in landmass? Yeah, I don't China's know. pretty big, dude. China's pretty big. I know China has a lot, a lot of people, but they have a lot of like desolate areas too. You know what I mean? Like uninhabitable like areas, like. Um, but yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, but Japanese super what, like are, so the Power Rangers are Japanese superheroes. Yeah, dude, basically. Just Do you know any other Japanese superheroes? Uh, besides Sailor Moon, dude. Is that a superhero too? Essentially, yeah. Like a lot of those are based on superheroes. 
Ah, uh, okay. <clears throat> like, uh... I don't, I don't know enough about Japanese culture to get super into it. Me but I do know a little bit. I know a lot of it is like the same story we told over and over and over again. Which is like different skins on the characters. Could you please stop being on fire? So like it's just a lot of the same, like you said, like just like nerdy people who become super powerful and save the day. Yeah. Well, it's like it's it's kind of like Superman, I guess, except not as like just flamboyant. The flamboyancy is the, the part that uh, that kind of like gives away the Japanese things. The whole the hand movements and the waving and then <laughs> jumping inside the giant mech or getting really big and fighting the giant lizard creature. <laughs> And just then shooting down. lasers and then fighting this thing for 20 minutes when you should have just used the attack everybody's waiting for. See, Superman, Batman, the, the the Avengers, they go through different ideas before they get to that point, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like if the Incredible Hulk walked up on you and he was like, uh, well, I'm going to try using a, a squirt gun for 20 minutes and why don't you just punch him, Hulk? All right, I'll punch him and you win. Well, you might do. Why don't you just punch him from, from right. the Right. So where do you think the the American superheroes differ? Or are we done? No, we're not done. We're going to keep going, man. That was super quick. Oh, like, you know, like, so how is the, the meta for American superheroes different? Because they, they, they do use their 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 main power, but the battles still go on a long time. So how where's the difference? I don't know, man. Western culture is such an amalgamation of many different cultures that I think maybe that's just where it is. I would have to say is that they've probably stolen from a bunch of different cultures to the point where they just perfected. I don't know. Because, like I said, man, when you think of superheroes, I feel like our superheroes transcend. Like all cultures yeah because like these movies are making millions of dollars worldwide Even these characters like, yeah, china and japan these and characters are known worldwide people in japan definitely know who snoop dogg is and he is a superhero snoop dogg yes michael jackson superhero why people know who he is everywhere why is that a superhero how is he not how is snoop dogg not a superhero how is yes rest my case the defense rests yeah Think about it. I, 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 yeah, I'm trying to. He wears a cape. Super Snoop Dogg? Yeah, do rag cape. Uh, oh. <laughs> he has his insignia on his chest chain. Uh, he has saved lives via his music. Oh, yeah? Has he? Yeah. Yes. You win. Thank you. I mean, might as well be the Pope. <laughs> it's my, it's Pope is a superpower. People know who, who he is. Superhero? Superhero, yeah. yeah. He, has, he has an outfit. The Pope? Yeah, he does have an outfit. That all white with a little, like, the cap? You hear the Pope cancel his appearances, dude? Yeah, You're dude. You're never going to meet him. He, I was going to go next week. You're never going to meet him, dude. My trek to go meet the Pope was <clears throat> in action. I, how do you feel about the Pope, dude? <laughs> he can do his Pope thing all he wants, man. new Pope is pretty cool. Yeah, the new Pope is, seems to be, like, down to earth. Yeah? He's yeah. all, like... Got the tweets. Did you see him smack that lady's hand, dude? How'd you feel about that? How'd that make you feel? <laughs> um, I mean, the Pope's allowed to have feelings. <laughs> so you did see when he smacked that I lady? I did, yeah. Oh, all right, cool. I didn't know if you had saw that. No, I did. I saw it. I would uh, smack their hand, too, dude. Yeah, dude you touched like, it on me. I mean, it's just like, it's like, it all comes back to like, man, like, did I say you could touch me? Like, touching people is not a right you're given. You can't just touch anyone you want. Yeah, but... <sighs> All right, look. And this was pre pre like Ooh, illnesses. <laughs> so, so it was a little different so situation. There there is a difference between the way the Pope handled it and the way that like little baby handled it. Uh little baby. Oh, I'm sorry, you're right. A dub baby. Pardon uh, me. Oh, did he change his name to the baby now? No. <laughs> You're so old. No, there's two different. There's little baby there's two and two different dub, musicians and dub baby. There's a little baby, and there's a dub baby. Who came out first? Little baby got popping first. A dub baby. He's more like uh, his music's more universal. Like more people could listen to dub baby. Okay, how do you think 
Da Baby and Lil Baby feel about each other? They're gonna come out with a Baby Bros they've, album. They've, they've come out with songs together. Oh, ish, dude. The they've Baby talked, Bros. I've, I've, I've actually watched interviews with Lil Baby where they're like, uh, "So how'd you feel when some dude comes out with your with your name?" Uh, <laughs> try. Hey, let's fight the boss. If <laughs> some dude comes out with your name and he starts popping off faster than you, and he was like, "I'm fine with it." And now they both kind of have their own lanes, but yes, there is little baby and the baby. Okay. So how did he handle? All right. It? So the baby, I don't. You haven't seen the footage, but he was walking out of a show, and some lady apparently was trying to get a picture. She had her flash on her camera, and if you look at one angle, you can see where she kind of like hits him. I don't know if it was incidental, but she hits him with the with the phone or whatever. Dude turns around quick as ish and just like. Double smack, dude. Didn't see who it was. I'm saying he had a hood on. He had bodyguards. There's 100,000 people just like outside outside the venue or whatever. And he just like plop, plop. And of course, she called her lawyers. I don't know if that lady that the Pope smacked called her lawyers. So, but he probably just felt like someone was trying to like attack him. I mean. Because he wasn't. It was like from behind, essentially. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he wasn't like he wasn't looking straight at her and slapped at her, right? This that's, is, that's this like in, the difference, this in, I guess. This in this in in this lies the, the true question, Jonas. It's like, so if somebody is trying to touch you, is your first instinct to just like haul off and just like attack, or is your first intention to turn around, look, and be like, hey, 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 you gotta chill? I guess it depends on like. <clears throat> We don't know what that is going through. Maybe, maybe he has people after him. Oh, yeah, you know sure what I mean? Does. Like, and he feels real danger. He has paranoia, and so he feels like someone's gotten through his security and touched him. He's like fight or flight, dude. Because who knows who the heck that is? Compared to like, if like, yeah, me. If I was walking and someone like bonked me in the head, I would turn around and be like, who the f is this? Hit me in the back of the head before I did anything. I wouldn't turn around swinging, mm-hmm. but. If I knew people, if I was famous and knew people maybe trying to get me or anything, like, I may. Somebody taps me in the back of the noggin, I may freak out. <laughs> but I doubt it. I mean, Grant, he probably could have handled it better. Yes, I haven't seen the video, so I don't know. Ooh, it's it's rough. It's a roughing. It's a David Ruffin, Michael Ruffin, wow. Ruffles, we have ridges. Ruffles, ridges. Action? Yeah, man, he he smacks that, the soul out of this young lady. And, and, the, and the Pope was more of like a "you should know better" slap. It was like, a, how dare you know? Like, how dare you lay your hands on me, peasant woman? Kind of, yeah. Kind of, <laughs> I just don't ever see myself getting to the point where I'm, I'm not. I, I don't want to be out here with touching the people, to be honest, you know? Yeah. Like I, I, I feel like no matter what, I want to stay grounded. But how do you feel if a stranger touches you in general? I don't know. Is she hot? You can't see who it is. Uh, like you're at the bar and like someone just like puts their arm hand on your arm. How do you feel about mm, that? Mm, yeah. See, I'm not cool with that. Right. I like, exactly. I don't like being touched, man. Right, dude. So maybe the Pope don't like being touched. Maybe the baby <laughs> don't like being touched. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. I mean, I get it. And then it's heightened because you're famous and you know people are trying to get at you. Yeah, people are definitely trying to get at you, man. They want something from you. They want, they might want, you want your money. They might be trying to steal your, your jewelry. I don't know if right. the Pope they might be trying jewelry. to get you to hit them so they can sue you. Dude, that is always that is one of the that's one of the most common reasons why they, they just instigate to the point where they hope you hit them. Yeah, I don't know, man. That, that's kind of why I have an issue with, with, with fame. <laughs> that's because people come at you for just because you were famous, not anything to do with you at all. They're just looking for a payday. Oh, I ain't here. I don't have any money. So. <laughs> right? I mean, but if you're famous, you would. Have you ever heard the term, Jonas, he's so poor, all he has is money? Uh, I don't think I've heard it, but it, yeah, I get it. Yeah. It's, it's, because it's, having money doesn't make you rich necessarily. No. In fact, a lot of people who have a lot of money, they say that the money does not make them happy. Right. All well, the time. Well, uh, yeah, dude. I mean, like, yes, at first, if you have nothing and you come into a bunch of money, yes, at first, you can be like, oh, this is so great. I can have all these things I want. But mm. that luster would wear off fast 
because if you you wouldn't feel like anybody really wanted to be your friend, that people were just around you because you had money. You know, it's like it's a uh, like a you know, you're like, do they just want something from me, or do they genuinely like who I am? It's like I don't know if I want to. Like, I mean, if you were a like, say all of a sudden we put out our rap CD and we became famous, right? Yeah, Jonas. I, now, granted, like... We've got seven hot tracks already right. in production right, right. now, by so the way. So we drop it, we become the next The Baby. <laughs> and, uh... Can I be the next little Baby? Sure. a little better rapper. All right, great. And, uh... So all of a sudden, women are, like, throwing themselves at you because they want a piece of TNT Dynamite, right? Yeah, man, I'm used to that. Right, exactly. But, like, but then you're, like... How, like, if any, like, say you met one of them and they, like, were really all, like, they passed all the TNT Dynamite checks. You oh, know? there's a lot of them, Jonas. Right. But then at the same time, you're like, are they literally just playing up to be who I want them to be because they want to be with me because I'm TNT Dynamite? Like, that would always be in the back of my head. Because yeah. I'd be like, you weren't here with me when I wasn't a famous rapper. Yeah, you wasn't there when I was shooting in the gym, you know? Right. It's like, so are you just pretending to like what I like and pretend, you know what I mean? And then in like a year, you're going to be a completely different person and I'm going to wow. be like, wow. That's a, so, that is the most factual ish I've ever I mean, heard. that happens with girls when you're not famous. They pretend to be something that they aren't. Or even with guys, they pretend to be something they aren't. And then they, like, as, as, as like, the time goes on, you're like, oh, wow. Yeah, You're I'm, not really who I thought you were. I'm 100 convinced, 100 percent convinced that I don't know anything about people's perception of me. Yeah, <laughs> because it is still to this day surprising when somebody either likes me or hates me for some reason. I'm like, yeah. oh, I guess you hate me. I didn't realize. Yeah, it's, I, always, I, always, it's always funny because it's like the people I think who are like, oh, this person loves me, dude. They gotta love the fact that I'm just an a hole all the time. And they're like, I can't stand you. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, well, cool. Is that what happens? People come to you just tell you I can't stand oh, you. Oh, dude, I know I'm hard to get along with. Are you kidding me? Really? Like, I don't see. I don't. I have never thought that. Or maybe it's just because I just like. I don't. You hate me, Jonas? No. I don't. I wouldn't even say you're hard to get along with, but he's lying. I could see how people who can't respect boundaries would think that you're hard to get along. Oh, with. dude, the boundary disrespecters—they yeah, can't. Dude. They can't stand me, dude. Like, yeah, dude. I'm like, just like, okay, like, <laughs> like but I like, I try to respect people's boundaries. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> oh, boundary breakers. Yeah, hate dude. It. Yeah, man. All like, right. Well, I'm so, glad I, I like you too, Jonas. All right. Awesome. <laughs> On the next <laughs> That is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. That is not happening. If you've already done that, write a letter to Congress telling them that you love us and we should be the national YouTube channel. Dude, vote for me for president. For right? For Jonas. TNT Dynamite. Catch you on the next one. We are out. Uh...